Hello and welcome to my channel. Does it aggravate you to not have grease fittings on your tie rods and ball joints and you would like to grease those items as well? Well, you should, and because it'll last a whole lot longer. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you the tools that you can actually use to make that job happen. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button and become a subscriber right away. So let's get started. This is one of the items that I'm gonna show you. And here's the part number and the price that you can get it for. Now, they come in different brands, and this is just happened to be the one that I happen to run across. We're gonna use this. Now, this item here, you can just put on the end of your grease gun, and you don't have to disassemble anything off your grease gun. And here's another item. We're gonna use this one too as well. And after the video, you can choose and decide which item you that will work best for you. This is the part number and the price. So we're gonna start with this part here. It's pretty much the easiest one to use. You don't have to disassemble anything. And the only thing we have to do is put a plastic section on here. And we have a needle here. And we're just going to take the end of the grease fitting. And I have a air grease gun here. So just want to show you how it works. So the grease is going to come out the tip. So what we're going to do is just remove that grease. And we're just going to insert it inside the boot just like this and you see how it's filling up There you go. We actually have grease inside of our boot. Oh yeah, that's tight. Perfect. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same with the, the tie rod. And just find a good place where you would like to have it. Just gonna put it right here. There we go. And she is grease. And you have your upper ball joint. You have a boot here. Let's put it right up here. We got grease our upper ball joint and it's tight. That's what you want. So our left side is actually fully greased. So anything that would normally in the past will have a grease fitted. And it's ironic when you replace these parts, the new part will actually have a grease fitted. But we're going to just make these parts last much longer. And that's all you have to do. We're gonna go to the passenger side and do the same. Now you know how to use this tool. Just go lay it to the side. And I wanna show you how to use this one. Now what you need You need a 716 and a 916. I'm just going to take the head off of the, the hose of the grease gun. And just lay this fit in to the side. Go 
go into the pack here. And we're just gonna screw this on. Again, you need a 916 and a 716. See what we have. Just so you know, you don't have to have an air grease gun. Just want you to see how this grease comes out. <laughs> yeah, I just happen to have a air gun, but you don't have to have that. I'm gonna find a good spot to insert. And if you want to know when to stop, you can stop just before the grease tries to come out or starts to come out. I like the smaller one better because I did not leave a big enough hole for the grease to actually come back out. So if you want to know which one to use, now you know. I'm just going to carefully insert. Thought I had it in there. Let's make sure we get it in there. There we go. And like I say, you don't have to have a air gun. I just happen to have one. Guys, this and gals, this can save you a lot of money and trouble. Keep a vehicle as long as I do. It's worth doing this. And again, we just get our tie rod. That'll do it. Well, have you made your mind up on which one you're ready to use? I think I know which one you're ready to use. <laughs> Either one is better than buying a set of ball joints and tie rods, that's for sure. Well, that's all it takes to grease the front end of your vehicle. And do not worry about if you do not have grease fitters. You can still grease your ball joints and your tie rods. I wanna thank you for watching. And I hope this video was helpful. Do not forget to subscribe, take care, and God bless.